this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're talking about Lonesome Boy by Memphis Slim. It's in C. It features Matt Guitar Murphy. And uh, boy, what a, he was just on fire. What a guitar player. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen Matt Murphy in the various Blues Brothers movies. He was in all three. Um, didn't seem like a great speaking actor to me, but he sure let his guitar do the talking. So let's talk about, uh, this is great for learning how to do a good vibrato with bends and a real swinging solo. And um, it's, it's hard enough to be a challenge to anybody, but accessible to most of you guys, I think. So I think it's a real good one to teach. Uh, it starts out with these breaks, like, do, boo, and it's uh, real uh, dramatic, so it's like. Notice how I, I bent it up to the target and waited a minute and then did the little mosquito scratch vibrato, which we'll talk about. Um, the first bend is on the 11th fret of the E string. Just make it cry, put it up a whole step. And when you bring it down, that's when I give a little vibrato. I've got my knuckle kind of behind. Um, like if I'm playing the 11th fret, my knuckles, I mean, this is my hand size, but my, my knuckles about um, behind the 8th fret. And I use it a little bit to, uh, to make the vibrato. And then the second one has no vibrato because it's kind of building some suspense. You don't want to just overkill it. And then the second, then the last one, he's like bridging these positions, right? This is out of this position. Second one's out of this position, like the D minor shape from way back when up here with your third finger on the B string, 13th fret. So if you think that shape and then you're here, that's a 13th fret bend on the E string, a whole step. Just leave it, let the note do the work for you. And now we're gonna move your hand up. I like to put my first finger on the 15th fret even though I'm not really using it there. Well, or you don't have to even put it there, just sort of think it. It's like a C seventh like this, right? So use your third finger on the 18th fret and you're bending up, you're behind the C up here, right? On whatever fret this is, right? 20, whoa. So. Notice I waited for a minute and then I did like the mosquito scratch. That's that's the way I'm doing a vibrato on a bent note. So I got my I got my knuckle kind of behind here. And then I'm gonna put it where I want to. I'm gonna turn up for this. Then I'm just gonna release it a little bit and put it back. Not that fast. Then he has a real good um, vibrato there. There's kind of a half step bend. to make it bounce then like a half step bend or you can just move your wrist up to the 11th fret so you bend it up then let it down and play it unbent or slide it up notice these little tugs trying to make it swing a little bit with a little bit of an accent on the two and four. He really gets out with a with a flash and then it does it again. That 
that's cool. Something like that. You could even do this. An augmented chord there, which is third finger, tenth fret, second finger, eleventh, second finger, ninth fret, first finger. It's hard for me to tell exactly what happened there. So the rhythm part then, once you get past the uh, that uh, intro solo that he does twice, it's just... I keep wanting to do this, but he doesn't do that. So it's like... He's just like reinforcing that beat, man. Even though really all you, as far as chord, he's just playing... Let's see if I can get the solo here. Okay. Tell him about it, Murphy. Loud silence. So again, that's like kind of bouncing and swinging, right? It's kind of like further on down the road, right? In a way. Lead off with your third finger on the 13th fret of the B string. E string. E string. 13th fret E string. Bend it up and stop it. And then that's that loud silence. Something real similar to that. Okay, thing where it goes. So up to speed, it's a little more like that. It's actually easier up to speed. So, you know, the main thing is these little tugs and the bends when you need them and try, try playing like scratching a mosquito bite, you know. You know, when you scratch a mosquito bite, you don't scratch it like that. You scratch it like that. You know, you put a small amount of pressure in a small place, right? Or you put the pressure in a small area. So you don't... You don't have to do that. You can, you know, it gets to be a matter of taste, but try a little smaller one to see how it goes. I love this. That's just wild. It's almost like he painted himself in a corner and didn't know where to go or something for a minute, but it works. So have fun with this. Um, do drop me a line with any of uh, memories you might have about Matt Murphy. I'd love to read about him and uh, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's great to be back doing this and uh, stay in touch. All right, bye-bye.